Hello friends, Nico Wale from Adisoft. Uh, in this quick video we will convert coordinates and uh, see the lot in Google Earth. We have a uh, map of uh, Bulgarian town of uh, Sestov here in Google Earth and the lot will fall somewhere in here. Let's see. First we have the points. The points are located in a text file. We have written them. Let's see. Not this one. I will delete this. But this one, these are the coordinates. We know the coordinate system. Let's see. The coordinate system sh shall be Bulgarian system, cadaster, and we will use again Bulgarian system and UTM 35. And uh, let's choose the file, transform, and we here we shall receive another file, which is with the converted coordinates. Now let's uh, load this into this as a delimited text file. Browse, load this, and I will switch y and x because in geodesy they are switched and in cubes they are built normally we use tap as delimiter and that's all press ok coordinates is this one and this is it let's see in google earth where we fell this is the these are the points exactly where i suppose them to be now I want to draw a polygon. This point is a mistake of the cadaster and I want only the other nine points. Let's add another layer. Or rather let's just delete some of the... I created some layers here which are not necessary. I will delete them. And now I will create a layer. Great layer, new shape file layer, uh, it will use Kirillic and 35M, ok, save the layer as not polygon and the coordinate system. Let's set the coordinates, the snapping to the coordinates and, oof, I forgot to, no, 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 no. This layer will be saved as, uh, as an Azure shape file and I will save it as a uh, load point. Alright, up to the map and this one will be deleted because I want it to be polygon. Add layer, uh, create layer, new shape file layer and polygon click this one and the coordinate system this one ok and I will override this one alright now we can just digitize the points alright this is the lot and the points are these now the points I've already loaded in Google Earth Let's uh, save the save both files as a separate KMLs. Let's go to Keyhole Markup Language, this one, and uh, let's go to say not polygon. I will not add it to the map, and these will be the points. Save as not points. Let's load them both in Google Earth. Let's add a folder. And uh, I'll call this stuff. Let's remove it from here. Just in my places. And uh, let's open. Let's uh, paste the folder. And uh, let's 
explode them both. Here we go. Load polygon, load points. Let's move them to switched off. I will delete them kind of. And we have load points that don't show interestingly enough. Let's load them again. Well, they don't show anyway. Let's uh, go with with the other way. I'm so impatient when this happens, so I will just do it the other way by using just the plugin. And uh, very interesting. Let's close it. Let's cut and let's. I will place a shortcut because I obviously will use it often. And let's open. Nothing. No thing. No polygon is not showing either. It is showing, but the points are not visible. It's got properties. Style. Here's style. Description. Wow, it's very interesting. Let's go to the points. Wow, it's empty. It's empty. That's that's the problem. Now I figured it out. Let's select, copy all these and paste them here save save as keyhole markup language load points ok, override file and delete this delete the KML this one and let's load it again. I think this was the issue with it. Yes. Now, this one will be moved to switch off. Properties, I will go to style and color. And let's see. Like, let's see if that. And different icon, I will choose this one and uh, label can we label it? Let's not label it, and uh, this one will be just 0 0.7, and let's still use uh, red if possible. Yes, that's it. Okay. And uh, in not polygon, I will choose to be see, style color, and I will choose some fill. Let's say some yellowish fill in this one, and lines will be red. And compacity will be fixed. Okay. Let's normalize. 
and uh, I want to create a screenshot. Let's zoom out. And we are creating a screenshot from here. I will zoom in slightly. This one. We want to create a scale as well. Let's view. Um, do we have scale legend? Yes. Here. And uh, I will use not feet, mass, but meters, kilometers, because time. And uh, let's zoom set this position. And uh, now we can simply print screen it. Go to paint, paste, let's crop. First I will crop all these, crop, then I want the scale, oh, no, 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 I will save this, Let's save this, and go into the folder again. And I'll see it uh, temporarily. Sometimes the image is in a layer that is not printed. In that case, whatever you do, you won't uh, see the result. Many useful lessons here. Let's see, and now I expect everything to be fine because the death points there is obviously not visible. And let's see. It is done. And that's it. That's the layer. Yes, we could have uh, had bigger resolution by zooming in and merging, but that is good for now. Let's close it and print it. And uh, that's how you see the lot from your point coordinates to Google Earth. It's Nicole from Adisoft signing off. And wishing you inspiration in your practice. Make sure you check my other videos about historical objects and uh, GIS practices. Have a nice day.